The headlines, restaurant filled with tourists robbed by knife-wielding men. Four deaths in Dominica blamed on tropical storm Erica. And another semi-finalist for Barbados at the track and field worlds, but no finalists yet. Welcome to Nation News for Wednesday, August the 27th, 2015. Scores of tourists watched as two robbers armed with a knife stormed Topper's restaurant on Hastings on Wednesday night, making off with the cash register and about $2,700. Owner Alfredo Giovanni, who received a cut to the head, said the robbery could leave a bad impression on the minds of visitors who made up the majority of the 80 or so diners at the restaurant. Mr. Giovanni received six stitches after he sought private medical attention and says he's considering stepping up security. It's not, an, it's not only an attack to Tapas, it's an attack to the entire island. Mm -hmm. Tapas is a place on the boardwalk. It's a place where people want to come because they want to have a stroll on the boardwalk, they want to eat something here right in front of the ocean. That's yeah. the beauties that we sell in the island. When you come and you do this foolishness inside a kind of place like this one, you are attacking the entire island because the 50 people, the 50 tourists that I had last night, mm -hmm. tomorrow when they go back home in, in England, in Canada, in Italy, they're not going to say yes, the beaches are nice. Or, no, I went to Tapas and I got robbed. I went in a restaurant and they robbed in restaurants. So what kind of security message we want to pass to the entire tourist community? That the Barbados is not a safe island. And I tell you the honest truth, police is on, but it's, it's the entire community has to work on this one because really and truly it's become too much. Opposition leader Mia Motley wants to hear from the Prime Minister on crime and the economy. In a media statement, Ms. Motley said too many incidents have occurred for Mr. Stewart not to comment. She said the opposition was willing and able to help, but first needed the go-ahead from government. Prime Minister Stewart is likely to speak on national issues when he addresses the governing party's annual conference at the weekend. Barbadians are being asked to observe a minute's silence at midday next Thursday in memory of the six victims of the campus trends fire five years ago and others who have lost their lives to violence. The tribute will form part of a 90-minute ceremony to be held in Heroes Square. Coordinator of the September 3rd Foundation, David Comishon, told the media briefing that churches had also been asked to dedicate Sunday to reflections on the effects of crime and violence, particularly in light of recent national concerns. The campus trends fire occurred on September the 3rd, 2010, as a result of an arson attack at the Tudor Street store. Barbados is grappling with what seems to be a deluge of violent crime. Uh, particularly crimes involving the use of firearms. And so the commemoration is coming at a time when our entire society is in a state of anguish and confusion uh, over this situation of violence. At least four people are reported to have died when Tropical Storm Erica last Dominica earlier. Much of the country was underwater following heavy rain associated with the season's fifth named storm. Rivers burst their banks and flooding blocked off access to parts of the capital, Roseau. Some roads and buildings collapsed. A mudslide is said to have caused three of the four deaths. Due to the flood of the runway at the Douglas Charles Airport, flights in and out of Dominica were cancelled. Ronald Jackson, the executive director of the Barbados-based Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency, said a team of aid workers from Trinidad, St. Lucia and Barbados were on standby to be dispatched as soon as commercial planes are cleared to fly in. Two rotary crafts from Trinidad are being pressed into service to help aid workers assist with search and rescue and to transport medics. A team from the Barbados-based regional security system was in Dominica when the uh, storm struck and has been able to help. Barbadian men have been told to set good examples for boys in the area of health. 
Pan American Health Organization representative Dr. Godfrey Shreb says boys tend to be active up until the 11 plus stage, but then their parents push them into academics. Speaking during a men's leadership workshop on Wednesday, he said physical activity is linked to better academic performance. Four young Barbadians will be heading shortly to London to study for master's degrees through Britain's Chevening Scholarship Program. Caroline Blenman, Keron Hamblin, Rommel Hall and Shadi Jamat are among nine students from the Eastern Caribbean who are granted the scholarships this year. They will be studying climate change and development, environmental change and international development and film production. At a presentation ceremony for five of the students, British High Commissioner Victoria Dean said an increase in applicants from the Caribbean had forced a more stringent selection process this time around. In sport, Keir Beckles produced a record-setting run to advance to the semi-finals of the women's 100-meter hurdles at the World Athletics Championships for the first time. Competing in Beijing, she finished second in the third heat in a new Barbados record of 12.88 seconds, smashing the previous record of 12.98 set last year. Shane Brathwit and Greg Mar Smith also reached the semi-finals of the men's 110-meter hurdles, as we told you on Wednesday night, but they got no further. Brathwit ran in the first semi-final but did not run a clean race, finishing fifth in 13.31 seconds. Smith finished seventh in the second heat in 13.44 seconds. The Oxford University Press has added new words to its online dictionary, including awesome sauce, hangry and man-spreading. Awesome sauce is an adjective for extremely good or excellent. Man-spreading is the practice whereby a man, especially one traveling on public transport, adopts a sitting position with his legs wide apart in such a way as to encroach on an adjacent seat or seats. Hangry means bad-tempered or irritable as a result of hunger. We're going to have to write Oxford to get some Bajan words on there. Any suggestions? That's Nation News for Thursday. For more news, log on to nationnews.com as well as YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. And remember to pick up your Weekend Nation on Friday or subscribe to our e-paper.